Hello and welcome back to our Bandit Lord Challenge. And, uh, well, we're currently in uh, pole position by 1% to become the new owner of Lagata. And I actually have no idea why this is the case. I am certainly not the best option for this, but apparently Mr. Caladog likes us so much because he actually has 83 relation with us. I don't know. Maybe that's the reason. I really have no idea, but... Uh, it seems like we may get this. I don't really want it. So if it goes to someone else, then this is going to be great. This is going to be very good. No. Oh, it did actually go to me. Okay, that's not exactly what I was hoping for. But okay, um, yeah, <laughs> this is very strange. I am, I, I have no idea. This isn't even close to my other thieves, as you can see. Look at this. Varagos, Thorios, and Rhesos are my other thieves. And Lagata, as you can see, is all the way out here, very far away in the distance. Oh, dear. All right. Okay, we're going to have to do something about this then. So I will be heading on over, and we'll see what we can do. I am currently losing influence by a significant margin because of my criminal rating. I have 23 criminal rating as you can see and our loyalty in this particular town is at 13 which is absolutely terrible and of course I can't really do much about that apart from this and we're gonna have to cancel all of our other things and then just gain the loyalty as you can see we're gaining plus three loyalty which is actually okay I don't know why we're getting oh yeah we are getting plus three okay yeah so that's pretty good I'm gonna put 10,000 in here just because you never know maybe it's gonna be kind of useful Otherwise, I think what we're going to do is we're probably just going to try and appease this guy, Mr. Mr. Rotten Tooth. So I'm just going to speak to him real fast. Uh, I want to talk business with you. Let's keep it simple. I may order my men not to look too closely into your activities. And in exchange, you share with me part of any money you make. Well, that's an interesting proposition, your lordship. But I doubt the merchants and artisans of this town will be happy with such an agreement. I will deal with their complaints as long as the money keeps coming in. All right, so there you go. We've now increased our relation by 89 with this guy and reduced the relation of all of the other people by 30, which is absolutely fine with me because what that means is that I can... Oh, do I, do I not need to do anything else? Oh. Oh, I see how it is. I see how it is. Okay, so basically that was it. That's all we needed to do. We just need to go to them because I am the owner of the town, of course, we just need to go to this guy, say, hey, I'd like to work with you. And then it skips all of the relation-based forbury activities. And as a result, you can basically just, um, you know, convert this into your very own little, um, um, little outpost, I guess you could kind of call it. Anyway, uh, that means that if I go back to Sionan now, I'd actually like, just like to see whether it is a part of my network. Because if it's a part of my network, then I will be pretty pleased with that. If it isn't, then I'm obviously going to be a bit confused because it seems like I have no other options in regards to it. So let's just have a quick look. Okay, uh, I think we do. Yeah, we do actually have partnership. Okay, so we actually do have a partnership there, which is actually amazing. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with Sargot. You need plus 40 relation with the most powerful gang leader to maximize your profit. Okay, and my territory is all this. Okay, that's perfectly fine. Right. Okay, so how am I supposed to do this? Okay, so I need to go to Sargot. As you can see, maybe I'm not getting the, um, the money because we're actually at war with the um well with the owners of the thief that might actually be the reason oh check my scheme results oh look 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 my scheme has actually um come to fruition i am going to be very excited to see what's going on here all right your target lost all of their influence oh my and minus 10 loyalty in owned towns so we did manage to do that amazingly enough and uh, we can actually do other things as well. Okay, so we can actually complete that. There you go. Okay, so he lost all of his influence. As you can see, he actually had 1,100. I think he almost had 1,200 influence. Now he has none, which is actually amazing. Okay, so let me actually just go over to Vlandia this time. Um, and let's actually see what's going on here because I'd like to do something with 
uh, with Dirthart, potentially. So let's just take a quick look. He has 1,400 influence. He also has 93,000 gold. All right, so let's just select Dirthart here. Let's select a scheme. I'm gonna do a little bit of a uh, little bit of a scandal. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna just increase that a little bit more. Okay, 61% chance. That is not good enough, in my opinion. We're gonna have to do something a little bit more here, unfortunately. So I'm thinking we'll probably uh, we could probably try changing it to a blackmail. No, blackmail is even worse. Hmm. Okay, we're going to have to go for Scandal, but 61% is not enough in my opinion. So I think what we'll do is we're going to go over to Charis, I think. Charis is probably going to be the best, maybe the best course of action. You can see here that we're actually having some problems with um, capturing, uh, well, some things being captured back by some of the other gang leaders. I'd actually like to have a way to do that remotely instead of me having to go over there, but I don't know whether it's really... I don't know. Does it make, does it make any difference? Maybe it doesn't make it that much of a difference at the moment. I, I can always go back there at some point in the future. Or at least I hope so. Anyway, let's move on to Charis, as I say. And we're going to see if I can maybe uh, make some inroads here. Maybe I'm actually going to be able to get inside. There we go. All right, so let's actually just take a quick look. So the gang leader in question has 12 relation with us. Yeah, yeah, this is obviously going to be really, really good. So let's actually just speak to him and see what happens. Okay, yeah, all right, all right, okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to go in to the town center and we're going to go to the back streets. Going to go to the back streets? Where's the back street? There it is. Okay, so we're just going to go to the back street because that is going to have the thugs of the enemy gang leader. And this is going to be really, really important for... What? Oh, hello. Okay, we're being attacked by the guards. Because we are at war, apparently. Okay. <laughs> That's actually hilarious. Okay, so let's just uh, let's just do some damage to these guys. Alright, there we go. Absolutely perfect, and uh, hilariously enough, I actually reduced the security of this town by eliminating one of the guards, but that's what happens when you sneak in to a particular town and you uh, you walk around the streets when you're at war with them. Uh, they actually want to murder you, so that's, that's good to know. That is very, very good to know. Okay, so Kaladoc is actually being taken prisoner by the Vlandians. I'm going to have to do something about that. All right, so yeah, let's try and eliminate this particular gang leader's forces, and that will give us a significant relation boost. Do bear that in mind. It will give us a massive relation boost with the other gang leader, and then hopefully we're going to have a nice time. So let's just get a couple of headshots here. Nice little bit of damage coming out there. Pretty nice. Unfortunately, I have a bad feeling that we might actually end up losing this if I don't go super, super hard here. Yeah, as you can see, look at this. We would have definitely lost this if I didn't get straight stuck in with my sword. But there you go. We were able to achieve victory, surprisingly enough. And we can all... Oh, yeah, that's, that's pretty good loot. Pretty good loot. Not bad. All right. So, Al, as you can see, she's obviously lost that. He has gained 30... Look at that. He now has 31 relation with us, which is actually perfect. And now what I can do is I can walk around the, the town center again. Maybe the guards will attack me again. Not entirely sure. But I need to go to the waterfront. I need to go to the waterfront. So let's be very careful here. I actually don't know whether they're going to attack me as it is. Maybe they won't. Maybe they will. Is this the waterfront? No, this is the clearing. Okay, so let me actually just do this properly. Um, where is it? Oh, there. Okay, I was going completely in the wrong direction. Um, <laughs> uh, it seems like it comes up here, but then it, I just get lost. It's all the way around here. No. What? Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute. I am... This is just this is just a maze. This is just a huge maze. Okay, so this is... Ah, oh, no, here we go, here we go. Wait a minute. Around here? No. Okay, I am apparently completely lost. I think it must be on the outside of the walls. Oh, no, no, here it is. Okay, wow, a very small little back street that I have to go through. Okay, that's interesting. Certainly wasn't expecting that. 
There we go. All right, Yagata was actually doing a pretty decent job there as well, surprisingly enough, because obviously she's not a combat companion. Anyway, there we go. We can just wait here a little bit of time, and this is going to increase the uh, the person's relation that we need to be able to make an alliance with him, or at, at, the, at the very least, we're probably going to be able to do a gang trial, and then we'll see what happens after that. There we go. All right. So apart from this, we obviously are going to want to try and discover as many bandit hideouts as possible because obviously the more bandit hideouts you have available, the greater the percentage you have in the scheming screen. So obviously we want to try and do that too. Um, so yeah, that's also a bit of a, a bit of a goal, but of course, you know, it's a bit of a side goal, side objective kind of thing. So if we're running around anyway, you know, it might make sense for us to try and uncover as many of the bandit hideouts as possible. But I don't know. It seems a bit difficult sometimes. It seems a bit difficult. Anyway, there you go. So now she's lost ev absolutely everything, which is perfect. And this guy is now willing to potentially work with us. As you can see, I, uh, yeah, I actually don't want to do any of that. I'm just going to um, go in here, do the... Oh, not available one in... Oh, okay. We're actually in an army right now. So unfortunately, apparently that doesn't allow me to do that. That's really interesting. Okay, that's kind of sad. I was actually hoping that we would be able to do it still. All right. I guess... Um, hmm. Uh, uh, hmm. Okay, that's a little bit unfortunate. Convert non-bandit prisoners 30% faster. I don't really care about that too much. I'm going to go for Famous Commander. Like I said before, I think that that is just over overall, you know, amazing. Uh, we're going to go for Walk It Off here as well. One-handed infantry in your party. Gain an additional 10% of the total experience after battles. Probably be taking that. That seems really good. Otherwise, mm, what do we want to go for? Well, probably Thrown Weapon Skill finally. And maybe a point in control because, let's face it, we kind of need that, right? Kind of need that. And I will probably be taking more endurance anyway in the smithing skill, uh, smithing skill tree. Once I actually get smithing up higher, I, I don't even know whether I'm even going to be able to, but hopefully I will. And we do have some athletics here. We can go for some HP for our engineer. And then we obviously have a couple of people leveling up. Oh, Melissa actually leveled up. That's actually really nice. Let's go for some roguery for her. Uh, Sotheris didn't get anything, nothing, nothing. Whoa, okay, Dareem has leveled up significantly. Okay, very nice to see that. Gonna go for preventative medicine, in my opinion. Let's go for steward here as well. Uh, whew, I don't even know which one's, which one's good here. I guess we'll just go for uh, the sweatshops here. And otherwise, we'll go for 2% movement speed bonus. We want to try and make it so that he doesn't get captured too easily. Uh, let's see. 40% more damage against shields. And lead by example is probably going to be what we'll take here. And then he has one focus point to spend. What do we want to spec him into? That's the thing. Because I actually don't know. Because he seems like a pretty good party leader. So I'm thinking Stuart. I'm thinking Stuart. Because then he's going to have even larger party size. Which is going to be pretty useful for us. Anyway. As it stands. I think while I can't do anything about Charis' gang leader right now. Oh, hello. Oh, Caladog has sent a messenger. Oh, wait a minute. We want you to destabilize the clan Lonalian of the Western Empire. Fabricate a scandal, blackmail them, or incite a rebellion. Well, I already did that to one of them. So technically, you know, that's pretty easy. So clan Lonalian, they're going to give me 32,000. All right. Sure, I can try to do that. But I thought that, I actually thought that he would prefer if I got him out of jail. Because he's actually um, imprisoned right now, as you know. He is actually imprisoned, so it would be pretty good if I were to find his location. Actually, let me let me have a look and see where he is, because we might be able to do a prison break. Okay, Lanark Hen Castle, which is just up here, as I suspected, it, it, he is going to be on the uh, on the front lines, so to speak. Okay, so this guy actually does he want to fight? He's got some good units. He's got some really good units, and I don't really have very good units. So this is going to be a bit problematic. Can I get around him? Yes, I can. Okay, this is this is good. Please, no one else. Please, no one else. Please, no one else. Please, no one else. Okay, no, no, we're fine. Okay, so... Oh, hello. 
Ho oh, ho, Death Arts Army itself. Okay, yeah, we want to be a bit careful of that. Thank you very much. Okay, so I'm going to go in here, and I'm pretty sure I can... Maybe I can sneak in? Request entry to the castle? No. I can besiege it? Why can't I sneak in? Is that because I'm in an, in an army? I assume that's because I'm in an army. Okay, well, that's obviously not going to work out too well. So what I'm actually going to try to do is I'm going to try to lose this guy, and then we're going to leave the army... And Dareem is just going to, you know, do whatever he wants to do. I'm just going to wait here for some time just to get this guy off my back. Because apparently he just wants to, he just wants to fight me for some reason. Don't know why he wants to do that. But yeah, he's going a bit crazy about it. Otherwise, let's disband the army. There we go. And uh, yeah, okay. So uh, now that we are completely free to do what we want, we're going to just go over here. I'm going to have to be a bit careful. Because you never know. Okay, so why can I not sneak in? Is there not a way for me to sneak in here? There is no way for me to sneak in. Huh. Do I have... I think I might have too much of a large party. That could potentially be the case. Okay, I'm just going to request some bandits join me. And, uh, well, uh, yeah, if I'd known this, then I would have actually attacked this guy straight away with Dareem's help as well. Um, but yeah, that's obviously not working right now for us. Okay, so this is going to be... Oh, hello. Alright, here we go. This is perfect. Okay, come on, come on, guys. Let's get here. Let's get over here. This is going to be... This is going to be pretty good. If we can actually force them into this situation, this is going to be... Mm, pretty nice. I wouldn't say that this is going to win us the... Win us the whole battle. But you never know. Maybe it's going to be okay. Maybe it's going to be fine. All right. Uh, they're giving us a good amount of time to get over here as well, which is actually really nice of them. Obviously, they're not wanting to, to give us time, but they're doing it nevertheless. So I'm pretty happy with this. All right. So unfortunately, I... Well, fortunately or unfortunately, dependent on how you see it, I have so many archers that this is theoretically a really fantastic position to be in or a really terrible one. It depends, as I say. But what we're going to do is we're just going to put them into a nice little loose formation. We're going to get them all kind of looking towards over here. Uh, I don't really want them to fire now, if at all possible. Just going to move them a bit closer. And I actually want them to do something else. Uh, I want them to face this direction. Is that F7? There we go. Okay. Where are you going? Are, are you serious right now? I don't even know what was going on with them. Okay. Well, that's absolutely fine. Okay, so yeah, obviously we're going to lose a couple of people initially. These guys literally have so many shields. And oh, wow, this is looking pretty bad, actually. Oh, dear. Yeah, okay. We might have some big problems. We might have some big problems. If I do get myself taken prisoner, then that is just a case for uh, the fact that I have no idea why we were not able to sneak in. Because I thought that we would sneak in pretty easily, actually. You know, I thought we would be able to do that. But apparently we weren't able to for some reason or another. Enemy is already upon us here, unfortunately. Yeah, they did a good job here, actually. They did a really, really good job of just charging at us straight away with their cavalry and actually just distracting all of our archers and everything. I think I might have to retreat here. Can I actually retreat? No, these guys are following me. That's a really annoying thing, by the way, about the game. You're not able to actually retreat while enemies are on top of you, of course, as you might expect. Anyway, I actually cannot try to get away because I just don't have enough men and I can't request any other people to come near to us. Add followers to my party? What's this? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I see. That's actually really cool. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, that's not really going to help me at all at this point. Uh, I kind of wish that the Forbury mod would add something about this, but oh well, never mind. Okay, yeah. There's not much I can do now, unfortunately. So I guess the best thing that I can do is try to get some thrown weapon skill. And uh, I should have, you know, I should have just taken this guy on with Dareem in my, in my army. That's what I should have done. And I probably would have still, you know, probably would have still suffered a defeat. But at the very least, it would have been with Dareem. And then, you know, it wouldn't have been such a 
an overwhelming victory for this guy because this guy has really ground my gears significantly at this point from from him chasing us all the way from where was it just outside Sargot all the way over to Lanark Hen Castle and everything you know he's ground my gears pretty pretty big here so yeah not great but I can try to eliminate a couple of the enemies in the process and hopefully not get myself killed either but unfortunately my polearm skill is apparently not good enough to actually eliminate people in one hit so that's kind of sad but uh, yeah as you can see the enemy's cavalry is just way too good they have a lot of Sturgeon champions amusingly enough they are running around with a lot of really really high tier noble-ish units and that is making all the difference in the world to how how strong they can be so you can see exactly you know they're, they're running around with a lot of those guys that's the reason why i actually didn't want to attack him initially because as you can see he has 18 of these guys so they're, they're really going to be very damaging he also has vlandy and sharpshooters surprisingly enough okay so let's actually just take a quick look did they actually take anything from me i think they're probably going to take my horses right they're probably going to take my horses which is going to be okay, I, I guess, because if they do take my horses, then at least I don't have herd problems when I am inevitably going to be released. But this guy is going to, in my opinion, this guy should be executed. As soon as we get him as a prisoner, we're going to, we're going to just, you know, do the whole, do the whole, you know, head separating from the neck thing. And we're just going to, you know, take him out. Um, at least that's what he's earned. You know, he's earned that with his, uh, with his vicious pursuit of us. Yes, indeed. Okay, so let's just take a quick look at... Yeah, okay, so I don't have any horses, which is absolutely fine. I don't really need anything here either. And we can basically just move on. All right. I was actually wanting to find where Caladog was, and it seems like... Are you serious right now? Uh... Yeah. Yes. The way the Battle Lord works sometimes does grind your gears. Uh, it's, it's actually, it's actually kind of sad, to be honest, because in my opinion, when you've just been taken prisoner, I do not believe you should be attacked immediately again by a vassal nearby. I don't think that that's how it should work. I think, yes, you should definitely be attacked. Yeah, sure, you know, be attacked. But not right away. I think you should have a grace period. Look at this guy. Okay, th this, is a, this is a stark demonstration of exactly what I'm talking about. Because... This is just absolutely preposterous, in my opinion. Just look at this. Now, I don't really care, okay? I don't really care about getting taken prisoner, but this, from a gameplay perspective, is just unacceptable. Like, literally, just look at what's happened here right now. I was taken prisoner, albeit from a relatively... Um, relatively sort of dangerous battle, right? I was taken prisoner from that, which is absolutely fine. You know, that's, that's going to happen. Those kinds of things do happen. However, this guy is literally hounding me now and making it so that <laughs> uh, <laughs> making it so that we are forced into a battle which if, if I'm by myself, I'm not going to win it. I mean, there's just no way that I can win a battle when it's me versus 95 units. That's just not going to work. Uh, but he was just shadowing us the entire time. And obviously, as you can tell, he's a lot faster than me. So, yeah, I do need to get rid of some of my horses, apparently. that's the, That might be the reason. Um, but I, I, I do think that that is a little bit, a, a little bit um, ridiculous. So let's just say that. I think that that really needs to be looked at or changed in some way or another. I, I don't think they're going to do that because maybe they think it's okay. Um, but for me personally, I think there should be a grace period of at least, I don't know, at least 12 hours in game. Because you have literally just gotten yourself taken prisoner and just been released. And then all of a sudden, you're supposed to get taken prisoner again. That really does, in my opinion at least, ruin the enjoyment quite significantly. But as I say, that's just how the game is at the moment. So I'm just going to have to 
deal with it the best I can. Maybe I can actually do a little bit of damage with my thrown weapons here. Maybe I can just soften them up a little bit. As you can see though, this is going to be really, really difficult for us to deal with. Not sure if we're even going to be able to achieve victory here. It's highly unlikely, all things considered, but I had no opportunity to actually surrender or anything like that because we had a vassal from Batania actually nearby and she's been brought into this at the same time, which is actually pretty terrible for her. Um, but yeah, obviously, <laughs> I was just going to get taken prisoner once again. This guy's also been added to the list. Yeah. This guy's also been added to the list, so I'm just going to speed things up real quick, because there's basically not much I can do about this. I obviously have no, no people whatsoever. But yeah, this kind of thing really does make me kind of think what's going on here? I mean, I've just been taken prisoner by the same guy for the third time. Yeah. The third time, and every single time he's literally stealing my money. All right, let me just take a quick look. Okay, so I do have a herd problem, so let me just get rid of some of these horses. Uh, how's my herd problem now? It's still terrible, so I guess I'll just get rid of both of these, and now we can actually move fast. So that's the only reason why he was actually able to catch up to me, of course. So technically, if I'd done that after the very first time, then I would have been able to escape. But I still feel like you should be able to have complete immunity from any kind of attack from this particular faction, not bandits, not other factions, but just this particular faction for at least 12 hours. I think up to 12 hours would probably be pretty good. That would probably be enough time for you to be able to get away and get into a safe town. At least that's from my perspective. Of course, as I say, you can say to me, oh yeah, you know, you can just easily get rid of some of your horses and then you're going to be able to get away. Yeah, that's absolutely true. But you saw the you saw the situation that I had. I don't think you should really have to go through that. I think that that is a little bit much for them to consistently be on you and try to take you prisoner and then just, you know, bleed you dry with the amount of money that they want. Anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. I'm going to try and get my units back. I had a huge amount of forest bandits. I was actually wanting to level up my leadership and have those forest bandits, uh, you know, actually advance into Batani and Fian champions eventually. And then we would have had a, an amazing archer force. But as it stands, we're going to have to wait for that a little bit longer, unfortunately. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.